They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> that was Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Jeff, I ain't seen you in a week, bro. Yeah, what you been doing? I've been working. I've been working that new job. That Rihanna? That, you, you that twerk, Rihanna. You said, that twerk, 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 twerk? Twerk. You sell the feet pics? Bro, it's work. work. <laughs> <laughs> Them gator toes. <laughs> <laughs> what is long ass, bro? They always be flailing oh, me for man. my long ass feet. I don't know. My feet are way too big for right. my height. That's right. crazy, bro. Right. But it makes me a good swimmer, though. That's good. Is that, is that a joke? No, no, no. You're trying to say you can't swim? It makes me a great swimmer. What the fuck? The pro, the extra propulsion. He propulsion? glides. He glides through the water. What the fuck? I'm like a dolphin in this bitch, bro. <laughs> I will race Michael Phelps. <laughs> I got I got the feet. Of Michael Phelps, right? That's what. Well, no, because Michael Phelps, the reason why he was good because his arms were long as shit, bro. Really? Is it? Is it, it wasn't because he's lanky? Jeff, all swim, pro swimmers are lanky. Nah, we got some midgets up in there. Jeff, please, I will bet you a hundred dollars. Find me a midget swimmer, Sir, please. I'm broke. Go ahead. Find me a so short swimmer. I, so if I Google midget swimmer, no Olympic. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Olympic. He should have been more specific. Head ass. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, man. So what, what what you been up to, bro? How's how's the new store treat? Uh, been acclimating to the new scene. You know, they shut down the store to rebuild it. Uh, Hurricane brought it uh, to a close early. So it's different. Um, trying to figure out a schedule for me. I think they, they actually have. So... Um, I think we're good on that, but is it going to be consistent? Yes, unless somebody goes on vacation, but it will be consistent. So. so open one day, uh, mid shift one day. Did you get any of your vacation days back? I got them back, but I also but I put them through. Oh, all right, so this is what happened, and I told mom this yesterday. So yesterday, I I got t- I got a message from my my Oasis on my on my thing, and it says uh, because you did not meet the requirements and hours, we sent back your your work through so i look at the hours that i work i work 44.91 and then i look at my my work through wow before you continue is this something you want to disclose i'm not telling them how much i get paid (laughs) i'm talking about hours i work i mean i work more than 45 hours but (laughs) yeah (laughs) what (laughs) you're gonna see people lining up at your door what Hey, I want to be your girlfriend. My broke ass? Shit. Um, anyways, so uh, I worked 44.91, and you you know, it, the decimal rounds off to whatever. Mm-hmm. So I have three weeks of vacation, right? right? So I did my last three days of work through. It brought it back. It said you did not meet the requirements because I did not hit 45. So it took... It, it, it's like we took back some of the hours because you did not read the requirements. I go on to see how much I used and how much they put back. They put back 0.03. <laughs> so I'm at 134.97. <laughs> 134.97. Oh, so that's why you got the message? Yes, because they put back three zero point zero. Uh, zero. And what does that translate into? Like 30 minutes? 30 cents. <laughs> three dollars i don't know but really so you got what 30 minutes of vacation no fuck left. that man <laughs> i'm gonna just let it go through jeff got 30 minutes of vacation that's hey y'all dumb... coming in late today. that's just that's just, a, that's just a, the dumbest thing i've ever heard. i'm coming in late today, literally because i get 135 every year because i have that's three weeks that's 135 hours so that's three weeks and i'm at 134.97 because i didn't read uh reach 45.9 that just sound crazy uh, 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 i can show it to you man it's no, crazy no, I believe you. bro that's crazy I believe you. so i told everybody fuck it i'm not even, i put that they put the rest of my work through except for the 0. 0.03 minutes that i did <laughs> <laughs> that i didn't work so i said fuck it whatever i'm just gonna leave it there run through season let it go through start all over again because that's just retarded so but no other than that it's just it's different i mean i'm at a store with people right 
stock clerks, right. team leaders. Right. So, so it shit gets done. Like yeah. you actually get to do your job in class. As, yeah, exactly. Like like I got I I moved up, so I didn't have to physically work as hard as I used to, and right. I still was when I got sent to that store. It's kind of like in basketball, right? Mm-hmm. How you had the power forward position and the center position. Yeah. And as basketball evolved, you had a stretch four or a stretch five. Which is? Who could play the four (laughs) position and the five position. Okay. And that's essentially what you were doing at your old store. Uh, You were in a management position doing clerk activities. Basically. You feel me? Yeah. Now that you're actually in a store with more people, Mm -hmm. um, you're actually doing your assigned position. Which is different, it's, and you can maximize on on getting better at that position. And and it, and the thing, and it's crazy too because it, it, like I say, it's it's different because you're so used to working all right. the time. Or if somebody calls out, you are that person. Damn, they gotta teach you how to be lazy now, bro. Bro, that's gonna be hard for me because I I can't sit. Like my leg starts to fidget mm. when I just sit there. Like I gotta move. Even when we're in meetings, I'm like, are you guys done yet? I gotta get back to work. But it's weird because everybody is self-sufficient, so it's oh, not like man. they need my help doing what they need to right. do. So they're, they're, they just get it. Exactly. So, not saying the old people were incompetent. It was just there wasn't enough people. There wasn't enough people. Right. We were the people. We were the stock clerks. We were the receivers. We were the cashiers. We were the liquor clerk um, um, specialists. We were every. We were the re, uh, everything. I mean, essentially, like. The, the, essentially like i said there was never any time to be management when there was it was literally for a brief moment so it's literally like work the truck now take care of the store or take care of the store then work the truck or look for specials level if your dairy clerk calls out you gotta work dairy you gotta work dairy damn damn it was different all right that's what's up man how about you sir how you been well i feel like you got five more gray hairs Bro, I'm recoup. I had to shave because the gray started to show. <laughs> I was looking tragic. Sir, that means bad. wisdom. It was bad. That man. means wisdom. Like, this is a job <laughs> I'm going to have to react. Like, I've, I've, I'm used to doing, like, physically taxing jobs mm-hmm. that require, you know, using your brain as well. Because it's, it's, it's a level of organizational skills with physical skills mm. you know what i'm saying so your cardio got to be up your muscles got to be up your conditioning got to be up but you also got to be smart in how you do certain tasks on yeah. the job but uh my first day was pretty awesome i met the team uh everyone was really cool specific person stood out to me he was the guy who was like training me that day um his name is uh javon and uh shout out to javon i just heard your music javon, dude seriously uh he goes by Von Six on Spotify, so V O N N the number six I X yeah. all together, oh. or Javon. Yeah. He actually has two uh, uh, Spotify accounts. Uh, also, check him out on YouTube Music. On YouTube, um, YouTube Music as well. Music, yeah. YouTube my music goodness, YouTube that premium. man can spit. And you, and you know what kind of blew my mind? What? Because it's like I hear a lot of artists from Southwest Florida, and it's usually like they're rapping about walk shit, like walk music. Yeah. You know, drug music. No, I was actually like you. Shit. You like, played it for me. Like, sorry for interrupting, but you played it for me the first time, and I'm I, the, the, one of the tracks, and I'm just listening to it because there's a story behind his it's words. A mad it's not just track. the beat go hard like I've always been hearing on TikTok and and YouTube and all that stuff like that. Like, right. literally, um, he he's focused on the words. There's a story behind his message, and, and he has bars. Like, he has some tracks with some sick ass exactly. beats. Exactly. Well, yeah. But, like I, he fills up the the the, the bars. With like actual like bars, exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like he fills up the the, the music with actual bars. And well, like, yeah, that's why that's why when I was watching the video, it said, "Is there any? Is there such thing as any good music anymore?" And the guy said, "Nah," because everybody from the west is doing the same thing. Everybody from the east coast is doing the same thing. Everybody walk. from the south is doing. It's, I everyone, call it walk rap. Walk rap. Yeah, exactly. Walk rap. W O C K. Walk rap. All we talk about drugs, money, shooting niggas. Fucking bitches. bitches. Yeah. And it's like, bro. <laughs> We're back to that again. I'm tired. What do you mean? It's always been that. <laughs> it's always been that, man. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, but it used to be I'm real. I'm tired. Like, bro. Rap some. Bro. Ooh. Great and squared, bro. Great and square. All right. You remember how he did the Type 1 album? The Type 
the Type 1 Civilization album. Yeah. The Type 2 Civilization mm-hmm. album. Where he was talking about inter- like uh, uh, interdimensional libraries where they keep the the equation for the speed of lasers. Like we're archiving your dimension in a library cataloged next to the speed of lasers. Holy shit. Like this man was speaking some like extra dimension. You know, like shit. existential <laughs> ass shit, and like I've I've listened to all his releases and mm-hmm. and, and whatnot, and he just recently dropped, and uh, I was literally going uh going through it. It's uh called Type Four. Uh, this one's Type Four because you know the Carter Ship scale. Yeah. Type One civilization. Yeah. Type, type two. two. Yeah. And then it it shows you their capabilities and their accomplishments, <clears throat> and when he makes these albums. He's rapping from what he would believe their perspective on the universe or existence would be. Would be. I got you. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like with type four, it's like type four is beyond God. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like it's beyond the concept of God. Of God. It's like existence is the thought. Ah, so beyond. all his bars revolve around the th- his thoughts becoming existence, existence itself. itself. Not reality. Because reality is shaped depending on, you know, the dimension or the way physics in the un- that universe works. That is what reality is. It is yeah. But the way he speaks in his tracks, oh my gosh, it's just disgusting. Yeah, I'll definitely take a listen, but it's for, just disgusting for, for your friend. What's his name again? Javon. Um, Javon. Yeah. yeah, he he goes by Javon on Spotify or Von Six. That's V O N N number six I X. Yeah, but if you're definitely listening, Javon, um, we should definitely have you on the. I'd love to have brother on the podcast. Have you on the pod just to have a conversation, um, and uh, speak on your speak on your truth, yeah. man. Because when I talk to him. <clears throat> Just great energy all around. He oh, has sure. he has his head on his shoulders. He knows what he wants. He has a vision. He understands his responsibilities. He knows where he wants to go. What like I said, Jeff, if, if if there if you, if you approve, then I believe you. You don't even I don't even have to meet this person. Like I can already tell, yeah, he's man. a great person. Um, but he has the, substance to him. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Shouts out, bro. <clears throat> yeah, shouts out to him, and for sure check out his uh, music because, like I said, I just listened to one track, and I'm gonna listen to the rest of them. And, and it's it's fire. And he has a lot of and it's fire. A lot of albums, a lot of EPs, a lot of singles. Yeah. So and he's been dropping since I think his first one was he dropped a lot in 2018. He dropped a lot. In oh, before the pandemic. Before the pandemic, he I think he <laughs> dropped some. Yeah, he drops uh, some singles in 2021 as well. I think the pandemic was kind of like um, time to do a lot. Give him a lot of uh, introspection, mm-hmm. reflection, and, and stuff like that. And yeah, but for he, sure, yeah, if you have that conversation with him, yeah, see, if, sure. see if you uh, want to come on the pod. For sure, for yeah. sure. This is uh, us officially inviting you if you do listen to this episode. Mm-hmm. But uh, for sure, yeah, definitely. And <clears throat> but what else, man? <clears throat> like I said, I haven't seen you in a week. Shoot, what else? Even mom's been missing you. She yeah, she she literally can't. All right, I'm gonna get. She came yesterday because she's like she's like I have to make. Um, pastries for the church or whatever and she came yesterday and she's just sitting she's just sitting on a chair i said you all right she's like <laughs> hey y'all don't want y'all don't want who pushed me to get this job y'all don't No, me. it's just fine y'all was like man we see you too much bro like which is fine um <laughs> we see you too one much. i said one remember one it's gonna push us forward exponentially faster right, right two i get you're gonna move in here so it's gonna be awesome so, um, but no, I asked her yesterday, how are you doing? I said, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. I said, no, you're not. I said, mommy, you're a bad liar when it comes to, when it comes to me or me or Jeff. I said, what's wrong? She's like, well, I'm so used to him being here and now that he's not here. And I'm like, well, I mean, that's what it is. I said, what are you going to do when he moves out yeah, the house? <laughs> that's what I'm I'm, I'm literally, every day I'm prepping her and the girls. I'm like, yo, I'm not going to be here. Yeah. So everything that I be doing in the house is not going to be done. She was even saying to the point, she was even going to the point where she was like, all right, so we need to plan a day that you guys can put the door together <laughs> the, and all that stuff like that. She And she's like, man, hopefully I can, I can, we can go to Sam's tomorrow and all that stuff like that. I said, well, I have a doctor's appointment, but after the doctor's appointment, we can try. It's like she's trying, she feels like she's losing grip. Of you, that's a mom thing. I know, and that's it's never gonna, thing. it's never gonna go right. away. And I, it's and I get that, but at the same time, 
uh, it's, it is it, what it's, it is. It, yeah, it's something you, you know have saying? to go through. Yeah, and, I have and, to do that. Because remember how hurt she was when I left, mm -hmm. and now she's okay. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, she's here a lot, but <laughs> but she was hurt when I left. Like she tried to blame you guys for me right. leaving. Right. So that that was that was uh something else. Especially if I'm planning to get a house. <laughs> yeah. I need that consistent income. Well, that's the thing too, and that's why I said you need to be able to understand what it is to live on your own. And yeah, I'm here, but you're 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 setting your own rules and your own boundaries and your own, my own shit. And your own shit. I'm not gonna be like, hey Jeff, what are you doing? Hey Jeff, who is this? Hey Jeff, where are you Calling at? Me out. Hey Jeff, why aren't yeah. you home yet? Blah blah blah. This and you that. Know how wild that is, bro? I be out with the boys and shit. And then my phone blow up in the middle of us, like, talking some shit or, like, mm -hmm. you know, having a, a, a sash. Yeah. Or anything like that. And then my phone ring. I'm like, what the fuck? Yep. She, you know what she did yesterday? She's like, Jeff, it's 9 o'clock. Bruh! Did he call you? Bruh! <laughs> that shit was nuts. I'm like, hey, Jeff, it's know, 9 o'clock. Did he call you? Bruh, I'm working. And then my phone goes off. I'm like, what are you doing? And then I end it. And then she calls me on WhatsApp. I'm like, are you kidding me? Stop. I'm like, stop it. I what just want to make sure you're alive. I'm like, what are you doing? Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. I'm like, what are you doing? Pick up the phone, please. You were supposed to be home at 7.30. Actually, wow. But the, I that's mean, again, too, like we laugh, but she's our mom, and and that's never gonna right. shut off. I'm not young anymore. I'm not yeah. gonna be doing no crazy shit. Cause yeah. back in the day, yeah, I was out to shit. I'd be out till the next day. Yeah. I'd come home. Oh, you never come home. Oh, I just <laughs> never come home. I'd just be out to like seven, eight a.m. Yep. in the morning. You drive back from wherever you're right. doing at seven, eight a.m. I just in the never come home. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Bro. And it's just like you got that old man mentality now. So yeah, it's like, it's like bro. I just want to get my shit together, get my fucking crib, and just do whatever the fuck I want. And and that's the thing. And Not saying that she didn't allow me to do what I want. It was just like you didn't have that. It felt like breathing on your shoulder. The restriction of always getting that phone call. But no, 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 and that's that's the thing. That's why I, I said you should move in here. It's not so you can stay permanently. It's so you can build what you need to build so you can save and then eventually get your home and all that oh, stuff. Yeah. Like that. Long Beach Boulevard. Remember that. Long Beach Boulevard. Long Beach Boulevard. That that spot we're checking out the properties. Yeah, that's where you're looking at. That's exactly where I'm looking at. Long okay. Beach. Absolutely. It's equal to because you know Lehigh big as fuck, yep. bro. How long does it take you to get out there? About 15, 20, 30 minutes. Yep. That's how big Lehigh is. It takes it takes twenty minutes to get from here to Mom's crib, and then from Long Beach to here, it's about twenty minutes. So same distance as uh, 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 Trishon. Right. You see what I'm oh, saying? Gotcha. Like, Lehigh is big enough where you can still have that space, that distance away from, you know, family where you yeah. feel like you're in your own Well, it's like for zone. me, like, I'm 15 minutes from her. Right. So you're, I'm like on like, my own. But you still feel like you're in your own zone. Yeah, exactly. Like, she can't just pull up <laughs> no. one day and just be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, know, hey. exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got you have to decide whether you want to drive that far or not. Or That's not. why sometimes she's like, "Yeah, I'm, I might be coming." When I when she says "might," I'm like, "You ain't coming over." Ain't coming over because your eyes don't want to. That's a drive. That's a drive. That's a drive. You don't want to come over here. So no, but the, I I screenshot at Long Beach Boulevard. But the, I, I think that's the thing. Like I I want you to be able because when I left the house, yeah, I left at 25. When I left and I moved in with Skyler. It was different. You see what I'm saying? So I lived with a man for about a year or almost a year before you know what happened. I got into the relationship or the the person I was with came down um, from where she came from. And then we moved out. But having that independence felt great because I was paying for a room. Mm -hmm. I was living with nerd roommates. We were watching movies and gaming every night. We were doing this, mm -hmm. that, this. It was just the independency that felt really great. And if you're under your mom's roof, you'll never understand what right. that it's is. The independence, the privacy. Yeah, exactly. You know, do but, what you want. Like I feel good. Make like I have no. De I always in my mind like I never want to feel like I'm dependent on her. Mm -hmm. But I know I can depend on her. On her, exactly. She'll exactly. never turn her back on you if there's right. always an issue. But I still want like I wanted that independence. Like I I wanted to just get the fuck out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not because I didn't want to be there. It's just I want to know for myself that I am a 
capable, fully functioning human being. Human being. And if I need to do doctor's appointments or all that right. shit, I can do it by I myself do it by without myself. her. Yeah, my sleeping schedule's fixed now. Yeah. Well, like I wake up every day at six a.m. for no reason, for no fucking reason. I'd be mad at myself. You're like, an adult now. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, for the past what? How long? What the hell? <laughs> It's just a lot of the work in the jobs that I did kind of tied around my own time. Yeah, that's true. You see what I'm saying? That's true. Now you're like, on their time. Right, because I haven't been in the workforce. and I'm not saying I wasn't working. It's just I wasn't in corporate workforce for some time now. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been a while. You left, You left. what, Publix five, six, seven years ago? About, yeah. Yeah, so it's been a minute. And I just kind of started... Doing my own shit, doing mm. side jobs, uh, you know. Experiencing, experiencing, man. Experiencing. Yeah. You know, see see what it feels like, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man. So I'm ready to get get back in it and do my own shit as much. Yeah, meet as many new people as you can, right. man. And like I said, uh, this is a great step for both of us, and uh, but especially for you because it's right. going to be different. Here's the thing. I will make acquaintances. Yeah, it's yeah, rare yeah. that I will make friends. Yeah, that's true. Because I don't like to have too many friends. Because there's an expectation. There's that of, expectation. Of having friends. Of having That's friends. why I only got Skylar. And I know. <laughs> right. Right. So, like, if I'm your friend, know that I am committed to, to you. To you, yeah. As your friend. Yeah. I will be there. Like, I'm at, like uh, again, too, I'm at the same store with him again. Mm-hmm. And he's like yeah man after all this crazy shit we need to hang out he's like what's your schedule looking like and then i basically told him it doesn't start for another two weeks but this is my permanent schedule so he's like all right, right so it sounds like wednesdays and mondays are probably the days we'll be able to hang out and i'm like yeah for sure man definitely uh right. just let me know yeah so man. but we def- and, and that's and that's just you know it's like i know there's some people they have a bunch of friends i don't know how you do it for me it's like i'm an introvert In terms of I lose energy when I'm socializing and I gain energy when I'm alone. Alone. Some people lose energy when they're alone and they gain energy when they're socializing. I think that's me. You see what I'm saying? Which is an extrovert. You just explained an extrovert. Yeah, that's an extrovert. Like, you get energy being around people. Me, I like being by myself. Mm Mm-hmm. And on occasion, I could say that I do like being alone. Right. Like the days that you don't come over, or mm-hmm. mom doesn't come over, and it's mm-hmm. just me and Bruce. But Bruce has so much fucking energy. It's like, bruh, I just want to bum. And all you want to do is go outside and play. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that. Those are times when I will say I miss you guys because you guys will distract him, or I miss I miss uh, my ex because she would use all the energy to right. to get rid of to get rid of it for Bruce. But for me, like I said, sometimes I just don't want to deal with anything. I just want to just relax. Me all the time. Except relax for my friends. Bump. My friends get yeah, all my of time course, and energy. Yeah, of course, and and then the people who I can have intellectual conversations with. Oh, I fucking love. Him. Yeah, if you're Bruh. if you're stimulating my fucking brain, my Bruh. my that's why crazy that's ass. That's why uh, again too. That's why I always say I love this podcast, especially when we invite people because I'm listening to the words that are coming out of their mouth, and you're like, damn. Let's go. Let's continue this conversation. But we got that's limited. We got limited at two hours because you know if Bruh. we don't. If we don't, we're gonna hit that um, that relationship mark where it was almost three hours. <laughs> that was crazy. That was. So it's just it's just things like that, man. I just um, I do gain energy when I am around people, but sometimes I just get those moments where I I become an introvert and I just right. wanna not have to deal right. with anybody. I'm, but gr- I, I'm great at socializing. Yeah, it's just too much energy. It's a lot. Yeah, too much energy. It's a lot. That's why anytime my friends do anything. They got to tell me weeks in advance so I could build. Mentally, like you said, mm-hmm. when we went to the room, the escape room. Escape room. Yeah, I t- you're like, Jeff, thank you for telling me weeks in advance because I had to mentally prepare myself. Mentally prepare myself. <laughs> Absolutely. I had to mentally Absolutely. prepare myself for that. I want to stay home. I want to cook food. I want to learn some shit. I don't know, practice some shit. Yep. Kurtz Gazat it. Kurtz Gazat, you know, fuck with the computer. You know what I'm saying? Learn something. Mm-hmm. Work on a project. Teach myself something new. Teach myself something new. Yeah. But when I'm going out there, it's like, all right, what is the plan? 
Yeah. If I go out and you have no plan, I'm going, going home. <laughs> <laughs> what? Or like you are saying, uh, when the boys text you, they're like, all right, guys, right. we're going to meet up here. And you're like, what? Right. Last second. I'll be in the, the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what are we doing tonight? <laughs> well, no one told me shit, so <laughs> I'm staying on. Plans. All right, so I'm telling you in advance. <laughs> I'm staying on. I'm telling you in advance, November 14th. You ain't gonna spring nothing up on me. What the hell? So I'm telling you in advance. November 14th. What's that? Film Red. Damn, didn't that bitch come out in August? Yep. Is it gonna be in dub? Uh, they're gonna do both. Bro, you know we're gonna look for the. You know we're gonna look for the. I low key feel like that theater is gonna be packed. No, November third. Sorry, my bad. Of course, it's gonna be packed. It's One Piece. I know, but it's like, bro, a long time ago when anime really wasn't shit. It's like you could go and watch an anime movie in peace. Bro, you wanna go see the show or not? Nah, no, wanna... I do. I'm gonna go. Okay, I was about. I'm to gonna say. go. We just gotta get there early. It's just like, damn. <laughs> now you gotta see a whole bunch of weebs. <laughs> <laughs> tweaking in the theater it's like shit this shit's cringe <laughs> that should be cringe what was what's the last one we went to go no you went to go see uh the my hero but there was another one we went to go see don't remind me jujutsu yeah we saw jujutsu zero remember that one? kaizen yeah it, but it was zero, zero yeah. yeah you went there and it's just like a bunch of ju ju jweebs <laughs> just being weird just doing weird shit I'm like, are you doing this because you want us to notice you? Oh, was it was it when we went to see Jujutsu? Did somebody was it Jujutsu or was it another one? I think it was another one. Somebody stood up and says, "When I say this, you say that," and then they yell, and then the yeah, one... they're like, "When I say something, you say something," and then he said it, and then it was dead ass quiet. <laughs> bro, sit your fucking ass down. I'm like, sit down, bro. <laughs> this is why I love black people leave anime. I'm like, sit the fuck down. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't be weird. It's just like... Be weird on your own time, not my time. Like, no. This ain't an anime convention. It's a theater. <laughs> yeah. It works the same way as every fucking theater. No one's in a Marvel movie talking crazy and doing weird shit. Oh, my shit. God. Shit, man. You know what I'm yeah. Just, this is weird, man. Damn. I can't do that. No? No. Nah. Like, I can't do it. I, uh, and I'll be honest, you know. Kind of a hypocrite on that because I used to be that. Yeah, but you've. Now, I used to be that guy. You know, you've learned now how to control your emotions, or when you do do outbursts, it's not outside the public; it's at home. Right. It's just when somebody starts talking One Piece or any type of anime. Yeah, I'm gonna tweak. You're Absolutely. gonna tweak. You're gonna start gonna saying tweak. this and that and the yeah, theories and then the the right. manga and then this. Right. I'm gonna tweak. Yeah. But that's like one on one. Of course. I'm not like. Usually, when we go to like Skylar's, um, it's kind of like uh. What was it? That one instance when you were standing in the line at Walmart and the two dudes were talking behind you. And I'm guessing, like, they saw, like, beautiful women around them. Mm -hmm. And, like, they're talking loud as fuck so everyone can hear their conversation. No, no, it wasn't beautiful women. It was, they were, they were, so basically, they were trying to be hard as hell. You have. Pause. <laughs> pause. Hard pause. <clears throat> so they were trying to be gangster, I guess, or whatever the fuck. So there was, like, this six foot five dude. Um, with a tattoo on his arm, wearing a Naruto shirt, and then there was a, a one that could, looked like a complete weeb. And then this the dude, the six foot five dude, talking about uh, talking on the phone, talking about yeah, man, you need to fucking leave her, man. You need to fucking do this and that. I right, fuck him up, blah blah blah. And I'm as I'm trying to check out, there's a there's a daughter in a chair with her mother right behind me, a little kid, a little kid. And I'm like, bro, are you seriously doing this right now? So as I'm talking to you on the phone and you're like, Jeff, are you okay? I turn around and I look at both of them as they're, as they're, as they're cursing. And they shut the fuck up. Oh, wow. Because I don't care. Who are you trying to impress? Yeah. Why do we have to be extra in public, man? I hate, I hate when people... What do you call that? Because I know for like... For like... Couples, it's called like PDA or some shit, right? Like public displays of affection. Yeah. We call that when someone's acting like an idiot. I guess. Yeah, like no one and like easy, like, easy terms. Like I don't like. I'm pretty sure nobody cares who you're talking to on the phone. 
if you if you're having an argument on the phone, go outside, or Facts. keep it down. Right. Or be like, I'll call you back or text them. Exactly. So why are we having a loud argument? Like everybody around you cares. Fuck them up. And then yeah, you're trying Drop to drop that yeah. bitch. Wait. Okay, bro. Bruce is uh. Okay, bro. Bruce is uh, moving the screen. Is he? Yeah. Well, it's not gonna show up. No, I know. The same for us. <sighs> for the audience. <laughs> really, I don't even think they can see. No, they can't. <laughs> But um yeah yeah so it's it's just it's just weird like that like I get it there's there's we love anime there's a lot of people that do but bring the weird to a certain degree don't bro just... and that's the thing some people make that when someone takes a trope and makes it their personality that's cringy as fuck it's like it's the worst you can't be a dynamic individual you can only express yourself between these characters these four walls of this is what to expect from people who like this who have this certain interest yeah you can't be dynamic why is that you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. like i appreciate dynamic individuals who know how to separate their wants needs their likes their dislikes their, their reality their realities their hobbies of course and like and like i said there's no it's not saying that we can't have dialogue or have a discussion about no. what you like and what you don't like but don't take the tropes of that anime character or world and bring it onto you because sometimes it's not cute especially it's if it's not. a it's I mean, cringy. It, it, it's cringy. It, it's on, on all. On, no, like, I wasn't yeah. just gonna exclude men yeah. and, and say women, yeah, but no, it's, it's cringy it's on on cringy. on both on both. It's just weird. That shit's cringy, like there's some there's it's there's cringy. moments where I'll what, be what, retarded and say something stupid, um, but I know my limits. Like especially if somebody's not laughing, if I say something and it's not funny, I'm not gonna continue. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I feel it. That, yeah. You got that self awareness. Exactly. It's like, right. All right. I said it. Nobody laughed. That was it. I'm not gonna bring it up again. I'm not gonna repeat it again because now nah, I just look retarded. That's <laughs> yeah. just tough. Now you just look weird. It's, it looks weird. Yeah, it looks man. weird. So it's like stop. It, and if it works, continue. But don't push it because kind of like that. Uh, what was it? That one event we went to. At Skyler's place. I'm not going to name any names. <laughs> but yeah, that one individual. Like, everyone there is cool people. When he we, used to live on Buckingham, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Everyone there is cool people. We all have the same interests. Fuck and, yeah. And, you know, like... So, I don't even remember his name anyway. I don't remember his name. Anyway. Yeah. And, like, I'm guessing, you know, this person was being introduced to the whole group. We all like anime. We're all some type of nerd. Nerd. Card game, you know, board card game, game board whatever. Game, video game. RPGs. Yep, we play those. Video all. games. You know what I'm saying? Like, so there's that that comfort comfortability yep. around everyone to truly express yourself exactly. and how you feel about certain things. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? That, I wouldn't call it a public setting. It's more of a gathering with friends. Of course. You or, or how Skyler used, right. usually does you, sometimes. You can Friendsgiving. be who you want to. Right. You can be who you want to be around your friends. Exactly. And that's why they're your friends. Exactly. You know, but this individual is being introduced to all of us and we have no idea who he is. So we're like really welcoming. We're cool. And da da da. We're very open. We're very open on 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 you know what we believe and what we think on certain topics. Mm -hmm. And this entire time, this guy, I guess he's like, I don't know, he's trying to ease into the whole dynamic of everyone. the dynamic of everyone in the group. And hit the route he took was, I'm gonna be self -dep deprecating for no reason, for no fucking reason. And it's like. You can't make these jokes or these comments or side statements when everyone here is literally that person. Yeah. We are that type of person. Exactly. So it's like it was blowing my mind when this person was just saying all this like like he was depressing ass shit. It's not just that. He was like degrading himself. He was degrading himself for and laughs. Then, and then accusing us of degrading of him. Of degrading him. I'm like, Whoa. I'm like, bro, who are you? I'm like, what is going on? Like, he's just saying the worst shit about himself. Bro. And then he would project that on people and be like, well, it's not my fault. You know, you think I'm XYZ or 
you know. And Skyler was like, what? We never said that. We never. I love Skyler, bro. Bro, he's Me so straight. For that up. reason, I fucking love that. He just says it. It's like. Skyler just says it with his whole chest, bro. <laughs> like, he doesn't give a fuck. He just says it with his whole chest. <laughs> oh, man. Say it with your like, chest. If everyone in the room is thinking it, he'll just say he'll it. He'll just say it. He'll and just not, fucking and say give it. And zero fucks. And it clears the tension yes, in the room. exactly. It, it, but that's why it's great. And then people come, people always say, oh, it comes off as him being an asshole. I'm no! not like, no, it doesn't. But it's like he's saying what we're reality all, is we're that is thinking. what we're all thinking. <laughs> exactly. Like, stop being a fucking weenie. Weirdo, man. Oh, my God. Like, Don't be a weirdo. He's like, bro, what are you talking about? Just we say what you want to say. We literally didn't say any of that. Right. Word. We're literally saying, complimenting the fact that you like this, that, and this. Right. And, you're saying and that. we appreciate you coming here. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. And off rip. Oh, I'm this. Or you probably don't like this. And oh, you guys probably think I'm this. And I'm like. All right, Mr. Negativity. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, he's been in the I'm internet like, bro, too long. I'm drunk right now. Shut the fuck up. You're That's real. why I just walked away. I was like, I don't want to fucking deal with this. <laughs> I just walk away. Bro, it's so easy, man. Yeah, it is. I just don't engage. Yeah. I just walk away. It's like, you're just going to, man. What is it? Mr. Miyagi. What, what, what the fuck on. is he saying? No, 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 no. No, shut the fuck up. No. Wax off. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to avoid conflict is no be there. Uh, is it. no be there. Is no be there. That's or it. I want problem always. No, I don't want peace. I, I want, want problems, problems always. always. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, man. Like, I'm <sighs> simple, bro. Man. I hate conflict. That's why I loved it. Like, when we went to go see Avengers Infinity War. And we went together as a group. We, yeah, we wore the shirts, but we acted we acted like ourselves. Like everybody was normal. We didn't act crazy. We didn't dress up in costumes or do any of that. We just went to the movie theaters and enjoyed that. We took a, a, a couple pictures and then that was it. There was nothing too crazy like that. Well, if you want to dress up, fine. It's fine, but it's just, just don't be weird. Extending your physical activity into the aura of the room. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? It's like, uh, let your friends see you do it. Don't let me see you do it. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you'll see this, you'll see like uh, 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 skits on this all over the internet or TikTok or whatever. Yeah. When you're on the roller coaster and it's the young couple being extra shit, having a, having a fake people. fight, breakup, and then, you know, oh, I love you too, babe, or... I love you. And I fucking hate that. They're like holding each other and this shit and that. And like, oh, oh, you, you want to cut in front of me? Hey, bro, back up, man. You Don't touch my girl, bro. And, and then you're like, like standing 15 you're, Yeah, you're way the fuck over there. Like, who you staring talking? Staring at the fucking concrete. Like, who you talking to? Yeah. <laughs> like, what the bro, fuck? Like, bro, who you talking to? I'm standing over here. That's wild, bro. Bro, some people are extra. Why or, is that a thing? Or like you said, if they want to uh, uh, be that... Uh, Guard that uh, that white knight for their girlfriend, so they're trying to do extra shit that has nothing to do with you, but they're trying to involve you in it. Just yeah, so it's like they're over. You're over. They're over there, and they're trying to involve you in whatever's going on between mm -hmm. them, and then make it seem like you're intruding on, on their, their argument or on their whatever. space. Yeah, and it's like, no, why are you doing this shit? You know what I'm saying? And that goes with everything. Not even just like that example can mm -hmm. be applied. Yeah. Sorry. Like you said, the whole talking shit on the phone. Yeah. For what? And then when I turned, like I said, I literally turned around and looked at him and he stopped talking. You could you could easily be like, hey, bro, can you check this stuff out for me? I got to go talk on the phone real quick. Yeah. Some shit came up and you go and you talk on the phone. Yeah. But his boy was literally standing with, uh, with him with a Naruto jacket. He was wearing an anime shirt. And then he was just like, bro, this and fuck that. And she's a bitch and blah, blah, blah. And I don't give a fuck. Like, he's all hood and stuff. He's talking in Ebonics. And it's like, 
this all this is unnecessary because you got a, you got a you got a, a mother and her young daughter lift, e- eating this eating this up hearing this bullshit hearing this bullshit for no apparent reason and it's like you ain't checking out you're just wasting time and you're, you're we're listening to a conversation nobody gives a fuck about and that's why every time you kept saying Jeff are you there I was so distracted by the fact that he was so loud <laughs> Jeff was getting hot bro. I was getting annoyed. <laughs> Bro, got, go go the fuck Jeff outside. Was tight, bro. He's like, <laughs> that's bro, why I hate smack that, that shit. That's up. why I fucking hate Walmart. <laughs> bro, I smack that. I only shit go in there for man. socks that and, shit was and great. candles. I never forget that day. I never forget that day. You're bro. ignorant, man. You're fu- Oh, you remember that? <laughs> You're fucking ignorant, man. Uh, pretty, that was hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's not what you wanted to say. Bro, but that okay. was hilarious, bro. So. What was it? We were headed. This is when we get the PlayStation. Yeah, that's when we went. Th- you, no, no, th- that was the other one. Oh, that was you. Oh, yeah. For me, it was picking up something else. But for oh, you, it was man. when we were getting the PlayStation. We get the play- I'm like, this man really followed up. In you my want, mind, I'm like, you want to tell the story? Did I tell the story already? I don't think you did. We told people the story, but not the pod. The pod people the story. That shit was weird, man. That was weird as fuck. That entire interaction. Bro, I'll let you handle your shit, man. It was like out of nowhere. I didn't even know bro followed us. I didn't even know bro I followed us. I didn't even us. know he followed us either. Right. I didn't even recognize who it was. Because we just saw a hand out the window. We just saw a hand out the window. I flipped him off, and then we went to Walmart. Oh, you want to? So, you pretty much, we were going to pick up the PlayStation 4 when it dropped. Which, we, ca- which we called because of Can you believe that? That was what? That's almost 10 years ago. Bro. That was almost 10 years ago, yeah. Um, I wanted to go pick up a PlayStation. I just got off of work. Brother picked me up. And we're turning into Walmart. And we're taking the turn lane. Uh, and there was a truck behind us. So, naturally, you know, if the truck is turning, it would turn in behind us, yeah. right? So, in his mind, he thought we cut him off. Because he took the turn lane earlier than we did but we were still in front of him so there was still space it wasn't even like yeah it wasn't even like he sped up and then we cut him off it was okay here's us here's them Mm -hmm. they take the turn lane we take the turn lane exactly and then we both turn and then he honks and he violently honked i felt threatened (laughs) (laughs) with my life my life was at stake violently honks at us (laughs) he just kept honking so I just stick my middle finger out the window. And that was just it. And we yep. parked in the lot, walked in, walked around, looked at shit, got the PlayStation, went to go check out. Did we already check out? No, we didn't check out. I thought we checked out in electronics. No, we, we because there was no, um, she said we, she wanted us to do it in the front because there was nobody in the electronics. Right. So she had the key to unlock the, the, the case and we got the last PlayStation uh, 4, but there was no, there was nobody in the electronics to check us out. So she's like, "All right, let's go find and get check us out." Continue your story. Oh yeah, and then uh, walking out, we're walking into the checkout with the PlayStation, and some like huge white guy walks up. Was he his... white? He was white. Uh, okay, he was white. Some huge white guy walks up with his daughter in tow, and he's like, "What's up?" He's like, "So what's up?" I'm confused as shit. Me too. I was I was like, bro, you know this guy? I was like, I don't know this motherfucker. I was who like, what's this guy? <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> so he walks up to me. So what's up? I'm like, what's up? He's like, oh yeah, you 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 thought you you fucking cut me off, and then you you flipped me off. I'm like, oh that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I'm like, that was you, bro. And then he just starts like getting heated and shit yeah and he's like so what's up what you gonna do and so i'm like so what do you want to do and then i dropped the playstation <laughs> yeah you put no you you firmly put it down because you're like it took us years not, yeah i'm not gonna break this place yeah this is the only one what you know fuck? this wasn't it the last playstation it was the last we one were, we're going around everywhere Every looking for places every walmart yeah it's the last PlayStation. I'm so, like, I'm not going to damage it. so he takes you take off your glasses and give it to me yeah i hand jeff my glasses i put the playstation down and I was like, and I have, up? Yeah, what do you so, want to do? And I picked up the PlayStation so it didn't get damaged during the, the Yeah, the and me, I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm not going to hit you first. I'm not a dumbass. Yeah. You came up to me. Yeah, so what you going to do? So what are you going to do? What's happening now? And he just starts getting upset. Ah, 
you think you you can just you know disrespect people and this and that? I'm like, okay, do something. Then. <laughs> do something. Like you're just wasting hot breath for no fucking reason. <laughs> I could have been home, cracked open this PlayStation, and start playing my goddamn Naruto. This shit was dumb as hell. <laughs> and then it just starts getting loud for no reason. So he raises his voice, and I raise my voice. And then that's when one of the Walmart clerks, she comes up. And then she puts her hands on my chest. She's like, sweetie, it's not worth it. I'm like. Hmm. Yeah, because she's like, yeah, you guys work for Publix because we had our Publix shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> you guys work for like, Publix. It's fuck. not worth it. I, I said. Like, I don't give a fuck. I, I'm a meat cutter. I've been got blood on my shirt, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? And I got my apron on, too. I'm going to give out this bitch clean. What the hell? I'm going to escape this shit clean, <laughs> motherfucker. What the hell? And his daughter's standing in the back. Dad, don't do this. There's another guy standing behind you. And then I'm like. I'm good. He, I'm good. He got this. If he needs my help, he'll call me. Yeah. Other than that. I was like, ain't nothing for to happen. Like, and then the dad's like, he ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, because you're the one who came up to me. <laughs> what the hell? You're the one who came up to me. That's just wild, man. <laughs> People crazy. You look for me. You, you walked the entire store. You. This man was looking for us, bro. And Walk. he recognized. He, he literally looked in the parking lot. He stared at the car. He was searching. Saw that two Negroes got out the car and then followed us Bro inside. Was searching. That was crazy. And then, yeah, and now his, like, kid is scared. Got her dad acting a fool. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because a man stuck a middle finger out. The, that's that's road rage. It's called manager emotions, motherfucker. That's crazy. That's road rage. Bro, how you raise a whole kid and you tweaking off of a middle finger? That's crazy. Bro. That's crazy. Someone stuck a middle finger at me. I give him a thumbs up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. I went uh, after the hurricane. I was heading to work. I was heading to work, um, and there was a a black woman next to me in a Honda, and she was literally doing like this, looking at me. <laughs> she was eating, and then I look back at her, and then she's like, and then she drove off. <laughs> I was like, what was that? What? I was so confused. You know, it's crazy. I was so confused. I think the most awkwardest thing the that Haitian happens lady. in traffic. The Haitian lady. Remember, she kept staring at us. And you're like, ah. Oh, yeah. So I just started, I just started making back. <sighs> and then she, she put up her window. Her and shit. it wasn't even tinted. It was, she didn't even have tints. I was like, why are you staring so hard, lady? Let me make some crazy faces at you, bro. Yeah, I think the... Not awkward, but, like, I think one of the funniest things while driving yeah. is staring at the person right next to you. <laughs> I I don't know. I think that's, like, top top five or one of the most awkward moments in daily life. You see how long they'll stare back? No, just, like, <laughs> either attempting to not stare at the person because, like, <laughs> it's like when you get to the red light and you don't know what to do. You see what I'm saying? So you just fake shuffling shit in your car. I do that every morning. You just fake <laughs> shuffle shit in your car. It's the most weirdest. I don't know why this happens. It always happens. Doesn't matter who you're with. Because you want to look to see who's. Because you want to look. It's the like, urge. especially if someone's doing. Some, and it's even worse when someone's doing stupid shit. Like when they're driving crazy. Yeah. And they're like cutting and swerving. Oh, they will not look at you at all. And then you pull up right next to them in the light. <laughs> and there's, bro. It's like they're frozen. They don't want to look. They don't want to look. And then you look. And you just staring at them. To see. <laughs> Who the fuck is this, bro? I hope. Why are you driving like yeah, this? Yeah. How do you feel right now, bro? Oh, uh, man. You did all that maneuvering you and you stopped that. at the light. It's like, how do you feel, bro? Or some of them was just say, fuck it. I'm going to run the red light so I don't yeah. look, look like a complete idiot. Some of them. Or like if you have tinted windows, you can literally just stare at them. That's fact. And they can't see you. But other than that's that, fact. if you don't, it's kind of difficult. But that I, that's one of the funniest things. Because I do the same thing, too. Because it's like, are they looking at me? And if they are, and I turn my head, are we going to end up making eye contact? <laughs> <laughs> no, this lady, like I said, this lady was staring at me. So I'm like, I can feel somebody watching me. So I turn around. <laughs> she takes a big bite out of whatever she was eating. And then she starts dancing to her music. And then she, she laughs and then she drives away. And I'm like... What just happened? <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know how you... There's no way to be normal in traffic. 
You can't. You can't. And it's so and it's weird because it's like right. It's like you live in the same area, but you never see these people. Yeah. Every day life. There's no way you can act normal at a at a stop. No. Nah. At a stoplight, you can't. Because either the person next to you is going to be like fucking stone cold frozen because they don't want to look at you. Or someone's fake looking for shit, acting like they're busy. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? You You got to pretend you're busy. You know? Yeah. But hey, it is what it is. To each its own, man. It is what it is. Oh, man. That's wild, man. But yeah, so, I mean, it sounds like, uh, sounds like we've had a productive, uh conversation though oh for sure but uh uh one 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 last note um it's funny because i know that um i barely post bruce on our page but yeah bruce is always in here when we're recording yeah bruce is always in here he, he's like he's quiet even when you want to know something what he's super chill now he is you remember when we first started this pod every single time in the background you'd hear him whining yeah or scratching at the mm-hmm. door, or just doing some crazy shit. Now he just he gets it. You just get it, don't you, huh, Bruce? Well, that or we bring him in, mm-hmm. and he's uh and he just lays on the ground until even when we bring guests, he'll chill in in the room with he's the guests. He's chill with the guests, yeah. Um, and then to the point where he starts hit, even hitting the doorknob to to get out because he can't twist. Boy, the you got lucky, man. Yeah, you got lucky with that dog. He could have easily been like aggressive, aggressive or annoying as fuck, or something. Yeah, but he's just my goodness. I think he's just humble and grateful that he's not on the street anymore. That boy was starving. Yeah, saw that man ribs. Yeah. Boy ribs look like a xylophone. That shit was crazy. Yeah, well, I think he's just humble. But uh, yeah, when we post our our uh, info on um, TikTok, just so we can give people reference. I never put him in any of the photos except for that one that we did of the the studio with you and I in it. And I put this the, I put a picture of him playing with his rope outside and that man got 200 views in an hour. Bro, they love dogs. <laughs> you know that's the law of the world. So this dogs one, over humans. This is what I'm going to do for Halloween, guys. I'm going to dress up as a dog. <laughs> roof roof. <laughs> And then this is the end of the part. All right, y'all. We'll see uh, y'all tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> we'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll give I want to get him a costume though. I want yeah. to produce a costume. You want to go? Show, hey, we can go to um pet 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 co pet smart. What is it called? Isn't it pet smart online? No, no. It's it's actually they actually have a physical yeah, store. Yeah, there's a physical store. Pet smart's right by um um bell tower. Bell tower really? target plaza. Is that where they do where they, where, where training? They, they do the dog training? Yeah, they do that if you pay for it, yeah. Do they train bullies? I feel like they would. Well, this is the thing. The first time we took him to PetSmart, all he knew how to do was sit for snacks. <laughs> so the lady was trying to make him lay down. She's like, lay down, lay down. And he just kept following the snack. Lay down, lay down. I said we did get him at five years old, so he's... he's Bro, you can't teach your old dog new tricks. You can't. Bro. I mean... That shit is to heart. Yeah. We tried some, but other than Whoever that, taught him how to sit, hey, good, good fucking job. No, he didn't know how to sit. Oh, he didn't know how to sit? No, we taught him how to sit. So I taught... Yeah, we taught him how to sit. We basically did this. So um, every time he had the treat in our hand, we'd push his butt down and mm. we'd say, sit, sit. And then every time he sat, gave him the treat. Him the so treat. when he stood up, push his butt down. And then he, if he stayed, gave him the, gave treat. Him the treat. And then he learned. And then he just that picked was it. it up. Yeah. How old is he now? Seven? Uh, seven. He's going to be eight November 20th. He's going to be eight. We got him when he was five. Yep. Bruce. We got him when he just turned five. He just turned five, Bruce. Yeah. But he was that like, always blew my mind how they knew how to fucking age date. Dogs? Any, All of them. Yeah, with their teeth. So they found out the, the, the year, the month, and the day he was born. That's crazy. So. Because they could do that with cats. Yeah. All of them. They could do that with all of them. So. But no, man, he's a he's an amazing dog. He's awesome. He's 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 very respectful with our guest, and he's very chill. And it's and it's crazy that he'll meet him once and remember them again, 
but he also starts to cry when they leave. When they leave. Once they put on their shoes and they leave, he's like, oh, fuck, you're he leaving me. He puts the sad face on. Yeah, Take guys, me with like, you. You guys are leaving me with him again. Take me with you. But no, he's an, an amazing dog. Um, but it's just it's just funny that, that <clears throat> I just put like a small clip of him on, on TikTok and he's got that many likes and views. I, I get it. America loves dogs. That's why I'm going to dress up as one for Halloween. Stop, man. <laughs> I thought you was going to do Blonic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do Blonic. Blonic. Oh. I'm going to hate you. Why don't you just be Shadow the Hedgehog, goddammit? Because he's black. Okay, there you go. Black Sonic. <laughs> Blonic. Stop playing. Stop playing. Blonic. Nah, we can't stereotype. Blonic. We already know Shadow's a shadow. Bruh, Sonic has tan belly and tan hands. Bruh. Does he have tan hands? No, he has just white gloves. Belly? He has white gloves. That's crazy. Yeah, just like Mario. <laughs> that blows my mind. But, I, I never understood that about like any anthropomorphic character. Why do they have white gloves? No. Why are they always naked? But when they make the women anthropomorphic characters. They give them clothes. They give them clothes. It's weird. That's weird as fuck. Probably because they have retractable penises. Yeah. <laughs> In real life. Female animals don't wear clothes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's just weird yeah. as fuck. I just think that's weird as fuck. It would be classified as a furry. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you gave it nipples. Wait, wait. So think about it, right? Isn't putting clothes on an animal a reverse furry? I think so. Because if you put human clothes, it's like, okay, you put an animal... So if you put a human costume on an animal, mm-hmm. does that make it a uh, hurry? I don't fuck. I don't know. I tried to. I tried to see yeah, something there. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Let's. All right. So we'll include Bruce in the the Halloween special. We'll see if we can find him a costume. Yeah, we'll get, we'll put a camera on him. We'll just watch him the whole time. Yeah. Oh, he's just bumping. Right. <laughs> right. Bruce Cam. Bruce we should Bruce. do that. Have like a Bruce Cam. A, oh, just so just just so people can see what he's can doing. See what he's doing, Bruce. Our, Cam. And once we get the live stream, people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, look at Bruce! He's just laying there like a sausage." He, bro, he looks like a burrito with a dog head. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit is wild, man. Every time he does that weird, and he's not even fat. He's not. He's, he's a, just like a tube. He's just a tube. That's crazy, bro. But yeah. So, <laughs> all right, man. Take us home. Oh, uh, man. Guys, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining us at the tabletop. If you want to catch us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I know today's episode is very late, but it's still going to be released today. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. If you want to catch us Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch us on Wednesdays and Fridays and take a good look at us, we are on YouTube, Tabletop Topics, one word. And we also have our Triple T's Clip channel where you can watch the short versions of our entire podcast just in case you don't want to fall asleep. And we also have our TikTok where we are now posting Bruce on there. <laughs> That's wild. So no one thinks that he doesn't exist. <laughs> but um, no, no, no. But uh, yeah, definitely we have our TikTok, uh, TikTok channel. And is that is that all our, our plugins? Do we have anything? What did you say? I did, yeah, I said all of them. And we still, yeah, you need to put that collage together so we can get that fireplace thing together. Because I have all the photos. Yeah, you I have don't the have videos. Them. Not the videos, the photos. You have all the, didn't we share them all now, blah, blah? Yeah, but you, you're you not, you're not doing anything with it, so. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, you got three, two more days off. Okay. Do something. All right. Let me start wake up early. Well, I got to buy some more crypto because I got to mint, uh, those pieces that i did okay so because i've literally in that span between the hurricane and me starting work um i had time to make some pieces so if y'all want to check those out please uh check out my tiktok plug in plug in at a uh, encore vibes e-n-c-o-r-e-v-i-b-e-z mm-hmm. uh same thing with a uh, instagram encore vibes e-n-c-o-r-e-v-i-b-e-z and you can check out all my uh, art articles, 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 all my articles. Also, oh no, actually, I was wrong. 
My uh, TikTok is Jeff Boyardee. So J E P H B O Y A R D E E. That's J E P H B O Y A R D E E. Jeff Boyardee. Thank you much. Thank you guys. And also, what was I going to say? Goodbye. Uh, I was having a brain fart. No, I was going to say like, subscribe. If you like our YouTube channels, let us know. Uh, leave us a comment. Um, and uh, let us know if you what, if you have, guys have any interesting topics that you want to talk about that we can probably bring up, then we can go from there. But thank you guys for joining us. You guys have a good night, evening, day, and or weekend. Thank you, thank you.